Hi, I'm Kat Navarro with IDA TV, and we're here at Film Break's Monthly Mixer, and I'm here with Bria Grant. She's an actor, writer, director. So excited to have you here, Bria. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Now, you're known for different roles, like on Heroes and Dexter, but you're going to be contributing to this online magazine blog for Miss In The Biz, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I am... Uh, I wrote, I wrote about, I recently directed a movie and I wrote about that process and how that is sort of different from being an actor and being in front of the camera to moving behind the camera and, and how you have to be very passionate about it to want to do it. Yeah, tell me a little bit, just a, a little sneak peek, I don't want to give away what you're writing about, but a little sneak peek about how that process, how complicated it is to, to have that, make it, making this cute, this project. Um, it's really complicated. <laughs> um, I mean, my, most, mostly my, my blog post is about, um, just, you have to really believe in what you're doing to make it happen. And if you're a person who's doing something by themselves, like I co-wrote and directed and uh, co-starred in the movie. And if it's like, I, I was the main machine pushing it with, along with a, a few, a couple other very key women. But um, besides, it was just us. It was like a very small group of people. So you have to keep motivated. Bria, okay, how did you get connected with Miss In The Biz? Um, how did I get connected with Miss In The Biz? Oh, I know, I know, I know Helena. You know, it's so weird. I don't know how to say her name because <laughs> it's, we're friends on Twitter, but not in real life. Oh. I mean, in real life also, that sounded like I don't like her. It's that, it's that, I, it's that we just talk, we hang out, we call, talk to each other on Twitter and via email, but not necessarily in real life. How do you say her name? I think, I think you said it right. I think so. Okay. Okay. Just, I, I feel dumb because I don't know that. And I, I saw her and I was like, hey. And she's like, hey. And it's like a weird, like, it's like if you, we've been internet dating for like a long time or something, you know? But, but that's kind of exciting because it just shows you the power of like, you know, this social media that you guys, two powerful women get to connect and make something beautiful. Oh my God. It's how I keep up with all of my friends. It's, I don't know what I would do without social media. Yeah. So, uh, Bria, what, how did you get into this, this passion of being in the arts? Tell me a little bit about your, your background. Oh my god, um, I, so I feel like it's boring. I, don't, I was in graduate school and I decided I wanted to be an actress so I moved to Los Angeles and became an actress. That's the simple story, I guess. What are, can you tell us some exciting moments from being on set? You know, I know there's a lot of people out there who want to get into the business and, you know, they think of this limelight in Hollywood. Right. So what can you, can you tell us a little bit of some insider things from your being on set? Right, about how unglamorous it is, basically. <laughs> it's like, oh, I, this morning I got up at 4.30 to go to set, you know what I mean? Like, right, right. it's a lot of that. It's a lot of, I haven't slept and I haven't really, like, when I was directing, it was like I wasn't sleeping or eating or doing anything. I was just working all the time. As an actor, it's a little bit easier. It's like someone brings you a water and... You still, you know, have the crazy hours, but it's nothing compared to what the crew is doing, so you can't really complain. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Bria, what advice do you have for other aspiring young artists out there? Oh, <laughs> uh, I would say don't give up. I know it's so lame and, and that's corny, but it's, but it's like, I mean, I think that there are a lot of things that make us want to give up because we're pursuing this thing that seems so, like, right in front of us, but also so far away, and I think that you know, doing something to promote yourself, your career, and, and continue on your path every day is, is what you have to do and not to give up. Well said. This movie that you ha that you wrote and that's coming up, how can people get a hold of it and watch it? Um, it is. It will be available on VOD this summer, so you can get it on um, Amazon, iTunes, and In Demand um, in July. It's called Best Friends Forever. Nice. I look forward to it. What, what's it about a little bit? Um, it's an apocalyptic road trip movie. So a, a girl um, and her best friend go uh, across, or driving across the country and um, nuclear bombs detonate in the United States. And sort of the fallout of that and how it affects the friendship. And as the world falls apart, so does the friendship. And you get to see that sort of unravel. Nice. Well, we will be looking forward to that. Thank you so much, Bria. It was so nice to talk to you. And we look forward to your projects to come. Oh. Thank you. I'm Kat with ID TV. Thank you.